طيب اوكي so in our last session we have talked about array okay yeah. and today today we will resume uh, talking about data structure and we will uh, discuss about array list have you heard before about array list in java yeah two dimensional two dimensional no there is a difference between array list and two dimensional array okay yeah yeah we we have we have done the single uh, dimension array and i told you that we will not discuss in this course a multi-dimensional array because it's mm -hmm. a, little bit, a little bit complex and it's not commonly used uh, to use the to implement this multi-dimensional sometimes we call it matrix okay so it's not commonly used so better not to waste time and energy discussing it also it's uh, somehow complex so uh, you may get confused so better to skip it okay and focus on the classes or uh, the stuff that is uh, commonly used most of the time like there is high need for you to know it and practice how to use it okay that's right so yeah one of this most important one is a list if you remember do you like i'm afraid you already forgot the race but can you briefly explain what is array yeah they contain items it contains uh all the items in your all the all the variables or like all the all the variables inside array is somehow like a chain okay a variable that can store multiple variables mm -hmm. okay not only single value but multiple values okay all of them from the same data type okay and it somehow uh, uh, can be easily accessed or retrieved again from the server okay so this is the concept behind array or array store whatever that is some uh, uh, class or api uh, that let us programmers to store data and then easily retrieve or process this data. Okay. Mm -hmm. let, let, let's call it some sort of data management or data organization inside memory. Okay. Yeah. So let me share my screen with you. So, do you see my my screen? I do. Yep. Okay. Here, I will create a new class, new package. I call it collections. Inside this collections package, I will create a new Java class. I will call it. Array. List example. Okay. Inside this array list class, I will put my main insert. Uh, let's have a quick uh, recap to refresh our information about array. Like, for example, if I want to create a array of integer, I will type int two square brackets like this. And then I give a name to my array. Uh, I can call it numbers array. And then to initialize this numbers array, I have to use the new keyword 
then again int with double square bracket inside this square brackets I should give a size to my array this size is the number of elements maximum number of elements can be stored in this array like for example if I give this array uh, the size of 5 so this numbers array can store only 5 integer numbers not 6 not 7 only 5 okay One more uh, way to initialize array is by using this two curly brackets, okay, and give the values I want to store like this. So here I set values to my array directly during initialization and how many variable uh, how many values are there here we have four values so this size of array is four okay four four values okay great so here array is very powerful storing multiple values in a single variable okay it's organized uh, it's all from the same data type which is integer i can easily retrieve any of these values by using index so here for example if i use arrays if i want to print this value the second value, the average, what I'm going to do, I will just refer to this value by one, this index, one, one which is array, array, array font. So here, if I run this program, so it prints three, prints the value at the index of one, which is three. Okay, so it's very powerful uh, for storing data and then retrieving this data, but there is a big limitation in this area. You know what is it? Um, no. Like, biggest disadvantage In array is it has fixed size like here size is five maximum five this is not uh, you cannot change this this size later okay again here is size is four you cannot change the size so this is a big limitation, big disadvantage, because sometimes you don't, you are not sure about the size. You are not sure how many values you need to store. So here, uh, the like the power of array list comes to the same, like the newly introduced structure to you is the array list. Array list is a more dynamic form of array where you can still store data and retrieve this data again by referring by its index. Okay. But it's a dynamic in size. You don't have to give a fixed size to array list. So, like, it's flexible. Okay. You can uh, just declare initialize your array list without deciding the size of this array list. Then you can store data, remove data, uh, retrieve data, do whatever operations you want to do on this 
data inside the array list without any problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It might be a little bit slower. I don't want to talk about performance now because it's somehow it's advanced. Advanced. So let's make it simple. Okay. Just know that the, the biggest disadvantage of array is already sold in array list, which is the fixed size, the flexibility in size. Okay. Yes. And it's very powerful. Okay. Allow the programmer to do whatever operations on the array list data. Okay. Let's see an example. First of all, how to create an array list in Java? Very simple. Uh, let's say we will know the hierarchy of array list later when we discuss about uh, object oriented concepts. Okay, but for now, you should just know that there is a class called ArrayList, okay, that can do the, the same job of Array, okay, but more flexible, more dynamic, okay? Yeah. And so I, I, I use list, and then inside these two brackets, I should put the data type of uh, the elements that I will store in this array list. For example, I will put a string. Okay. Then I should give a name to this array list. So I will call it string array list. Okay. Equal new array list. As you can see, I don't have to type it all. On I can just, you know, select one of the suggestions provided yeah. by IntelliJ. So it's new array list, two angle brackets, empty, okay, and then two ordinary brackets, okay? So here, creating my array list is done. And as you can see, I, I didn't mention any size. Okay, it's optional to have sums. You can give with sums, like here in these two brackets, I can give size seven, for example. Okay, but it's it's not mandatory. It's optional. So for me, better not to not to do it. I will just keep it blank, keep it dynamic. Okay. Yeah, true. Okay, good. Now. Let's move to the next step. We already created our array list and we want to start storing data or values inside this string array list. What we're going to do, we will use a function called add to array list. String array list dot add, as you can see, add allows me to insert a, a new element to my array list, okay? So since now our array list is empty, so this new added value will be as an index of zero. So here, for example, I say first, okay? I want to add one more element. Okay, it's second, second. Okay, one more. So, so all these elements are sorted inside the array list, okay, and can be accessed by index. So, the first element has index zero. Okay. The second element has index 
of one. Okay. Here, third one and last one has index two. And just as you can see, uh, this part is common part. Okay, between array list and arrays. Okay, like both of them provides uh, index. Okay, mm -hmm. to their elements. Okay. Nothing new. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, good. What if I want to print the element of index one? Okay, in this array list, what I'm going to do? Again, I have to use another function implemented or provided by ArrayList called get. Okay. Oh, so yeah, the get within. Yeah, I say string ArrayList dot get. This one, get. And this get, I should pass, this get function, I should pass an index to get. So here I will pass. Index one. Index one here will print second. The second element for the index one. So here, when I access the element of index one, I get this second. Let's try on this program. Yeah, here I got the second. Is it clear? Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, great. So, uh, a lot of uh, features is provided by the arrays, not only the add and get. Like, for example, what if I want to print the whole, uh, the length or the size of this uh, arrays? What I'm going to I will just get the function of size. Yes, this value. Okay, so here, if I print this size, it will return the size of this array, which is one, two, three. Let's run and see the output. Yes, again, I get. Three. Okay. Uh, now I can add one more to see the difference in size to make sure that it's dynamic and this size is totally controlled by you, program. It's totally flexible. So if I print the size again after adding one more element, so here, look, the size becomes four. It was three, and then we added one more element, so the size became four. You understand? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. What if I want to remove an element? Is it possible? Uh, yes, probably. Yes, it's... Uh, remove. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's allowed, okay, to remove an, uh, uh, an element from an playlist. So, for example, I will remove this last uh, added element called force. Okay. Now, if I print the size one more time, it will go back to three. Look, 
okay, I want now to make sure that I removed the correct element, like fourth uh, element is deleted, not the third, not the second, not the fourth, and not the first. So I can easily Array list allows me to easily print the whole elements of the array list directly like this dot to string. So if I run my program, now look. All elements inside this array list got printed, which is first, second, third. Only using one line, I could print the whole array list. This cannot be done in array. In array, I should loop on elements one by one. But here in array list, it can be easily done. And not only that, array list is very rich and has a lot to offer. So, what if I want to, you know, insert an element between first and second? How how to do this? Like, I want to insert another element. Okay, at the index one. How I'm gonna do this? Add. I just forgot to the, the function. The same function mm -hmm. add, okay, allows me to take a certain index where I insert the new element. Like here, I put inserted. I print again this array list look here I have first, second, third, but in between first and second I got inserted element. Okay using the same add function, but providing index to this add function. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yeah, it's pretty clear, yeah. Do you have any questions? What's the, uh, in, what is the, the inserted element to mean? Uh, you can call it anything. No. I'm just telling you that you can specify a certain index, okay, to like, to add an element in a certain index, not only adding elements, like appending to the end of the list. You know, you can insert in between. Like here, if I use the add function. Okay, yeah, I see. When I use the add function to add a new element, I call it false. Without providing index, certain index, this false element will be added to the end of the list. Like here, after third, I will get false. Here, if I print, run. Look, false added. To the very end of that list. 
okay, after all like previous elements, I will get false at the end. But here in inserted element, I didn't get it at the end. I get it in between two other elements, first and second. I got it in a, in a certain index, which is one. You understand? Yeah. Okay, good. That is the difference, okay, between this line and this line, okay? You understand? Mm -hmm, yeah. Feel free to ask if you have any doubts. Okay. So a ray list is uh, a ray list is pretty common. Hmm? A ray list is pretty common. Yes, it's very common. It's very important. You should like know about a ray list very very well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Another uh, important function in string or in a list, okay? And it has a function to check if a certain value exists or not in this array list. Like, for example, if I, I have here in first inserted element, second, third, fourth, I want to check if third element exist in this array list. What I'm gonna do, I use function called contains. Okay. So here. I ask is array list string array list contains the value of third? This contains will return true or false. True if this value exist and false if it doesn't exist okay so i will put it i, I will just wrap it in print statement okay first time i will put third second check i will put value like this let's false. run Let's run and see what will happen. First is true because thirds exist in this array list here. Okay, so it returned true. But second, I put the value of fifth. Fifth doesn't exist here in this array list. Like as you can see, we have only first inserted element, second, third, fourth, but no. So here it returned false. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's very easy and very powerful. So uh, one more, I think you can retrieve the index of a certain value. Like here, string. Playlist dot yes, index of index of. I can pass a value to this function. Like for example, here I will I will pass uh, let's say false value false. Okay, and then we will print the return of this function, which will be the index of false. Okay, let's run to see the results. So 
like for here look force zero one two three four so yes force has an index of four and we got here the index four okay 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 we have a lot a lot a lot of you know of functions teachers provided by arrays we'll just give you the last one okay which is important for you to know which is clear like to clear all elements inside this array list okay uh, you just use a function clear after this clear you will get the lens the size of the array list will become zero We're on. Look. You can see, right? Yes, zero. Yes, now we got to zero. You see it again? Try, yeah, if we try to, you know, print the array list, we'll get it empty. We get empty list. Because now okay. we don't have yeah we don't have elements in this. In this why why is that again? In in this array list in look. You understand? Can you do that? Can you see it again? Like we cleared all the elements inside the array list. We just deleted all of these elements by one move or by one line of code which is a radius clear. dot clear this function delete all elements inside inside that radius then the size will become zero and this list will become empty as you can see this is two lines size is zero list is empty. i see i see now okay good uh, you can explore next time some other features of the playlist, but for me that's like that's more than it's basic. That, the, yeah, the most common used functions. Okay. And one more point I want to mention, which is the data types that can be used in a playlist. Like here, a playlist. My our playlist is of type string. What if we want to make a playlist of the type integer? Is it allowed? Like, is it allowed for me here to type int? And I say int playlist. Like this. It's not allowed. I have to use another class called integer. Like this. This rule applies to all primitive data types. All primitive data types. Can't be used directly for the array list. But some wrapper class should be used for each primitive data type, like this integer. Okay. Like you may forget this, but it's very important. 